John Sewell with ingamer.com. These are the Smith 4D goggles, the highest end goggles Smith makes, which is saying quite a bit. A lot of features go into them. In this review, I'm gonna go over as many as I can, as well as show you how to swap the lenses out. So, uh, these are the camo band with the chrome pop black lens. It comes with a second lens as well, that is a chrome pop rose, which is great for low light. As you can see, we have plenty of sun, so we don't need low light. So we're category three right now with these lenses right here. What makes the 4D special as well is the actual lens is incredible. It's got 25% more field of view, meaning I can actually look down. If you look right here, you can see the lens kind of curves inwards. So you can look down and you can see like everything. There's no frame in the way, there's no foam in the way. It's just great um, field of view, 25% more than other goggles. I don't know which one they're specifically talking about. I've used the IOs and all kinds of goggles from Smith, and this is the most field of view I've ever seen. Uh, we also review on the proxy coming up. Ryan Humphreys is doing that. So what do I like about them? Besides them having an incredible field of view, playing nicely with helmets, they play very nicely, of course, with Smith helmets, which they're designed to do. This is actually a Jobo helmet, and it's been working perfectly fine with that. Very comfortable on the nose. Three layers of foam, anti-fog going on. Uh, for what I do, uh, split boarding, it's a uh, very high output activity, you know, so I don't use these on the uphill, but I do use them on the downhill. And downhill often consists of uh, getting the poles back out and traversing some areas that are flat. So a lot of high output activity. So uh, they've done a really good job with moisture management and not fogging up with that. I will uh, insert a video below how to swap out the lenses right here. It's very simple. Um, and so you don't have to worry about using just one lens. You can bring a second lens if you know you're going to encounter variable conditions. Uh, very easy to swap out there. And then it comes with a very nice protective case. I'll show a picture of that below as well. So I'm a big fan of it, and I better be. MSRP for this particular one is 320 US dollars. That's a significant investment, though you are getting the best field of view and you're getting two chrome pop lenses uh, and a nice case. Uh, and you know, these are these are awesome stuff. Smith is made in America, at least the goggles are, uh, hand assembled, and they have lifetime warranty. So, you know, you're getting what you pay for, for sure. Um, I've always had a good relationship with Smith as a consumer, as well as working with them for this kind of stuff. So I would recommend them, especially, I mean, check out that field of view. That's bonkers, right? So if uh, you're into the highest end goggles out there and you wanted to go with the ones that Cody Townsend uses, uh, obviously he's uh, legit. <laughs> so I'd take his word for what he uses. He uses the 4D. Um, then these might be the right ones for you. If they are, I'll put a link below so you can purchase them and support through Smith and support uh, Ingearment as well. If you found this helpful, give us a thumbs up, please. If you found the last seven years of video reviews helpful, uh, there's been 3 million views last year and only 3% of people are subscribed. So consider subscribing. It supports our channel so you can get out and do more reviews like this to hopefully show you how things work and what we like. It won't be right for you. If you ever have questions, and I hope you do, put them in the comments below. I'll get right back to you. Till next time, take care.